from one beautiful hollow to another. This week's color is going to be 90 Bubbly. So I took all that polish off and I'm going to do some nail maintenance. I'm going to use my um, cuticle remover and get my cuticles looking good and then I'm going to file as well because I need to do some swatches this weekend. So I'm going to do that, speed through that a little bit because it's not really all that interesting. But I did want to say thank you guys so much for all the comments on the last post about my hair. I really like it. Um, next weekend I'm going back and I'll do um, another session of the blonde, but I'm going to go back and do that and then maybe after that's finally done and it's all finished, I'll post some pictures on my Insta stories. But thank you guys and I'm going to get into helping out these nails a little bit. Okay, that is done. Nails are shaped and short, and I got my cuticle removed. There's still some bits. So I'm just going to be using the same little lineup here. I'm going to do my Orly Bonder, like we said, 90 Bubbly, and then I'm going to do my Hard as Ice top coat. I have to work here in like 40 minutes, so this is the best top coat to get my nails to dry really quickly so I can type on my computer. I told you guys I have to do swatches this weekend and I picked out all of my polishes for my December polish rack that was in um, an organizational video that I posted like last week or the week before and I told you guys that I was pulling out all my winter polishes but I forgot that I'm posting every day up until Christmas for December so I only pulled polishes technically for December and not for the rest of the winter so I don't have any swatches prepared for like January and February I guess since February is technically like wintery well to me so I need to do January swatches and then at some point I guess I will need to do February swatches so yeah I need to get those done um, fairly soon before we leave so yeah I'm gonna do January swatches this weekend and get those like set up and ready to post. I am also going to do a video, probably post it um, next week about my like picture taking setup. I got a few questions about how I do pictures in the winter. So I'm going to try to get that set up um, so that you guys can see a little behind the scenes of how I do some pictures. I'm gonna need a backup of this polish. Look at that line. It is getting real low. It's just so pretty. It's like it's a hollow and there's no doubt about it, but it's also like, it's just, it's nudey, like it's a nude um, color, like it's, I don't know, it's just like a champagne -y nude heaven, I don't know. It's gorgeous, it, I'm gonna have to order back up next time I order from her. I actually had this polish on my, um, like wish list for a topic Tuesday that I did and one of you guys my one of my lovely Instagram followers that's so weird to say like the one of my followers but one of you guys sent me this nail polish because it was on my wish list and you had like a backup bottle I'm so grateful because I've been wanting this polish for so long but it's like 
sometimes people will come out with their nail polish collections and then I only really like like one shade like truly like one shade I could probably like another one but I really like this one from our holiday collection but I didn't really want to make an order just for one polish so then it's like okay let me collect up a few more polishes I like before I can order but then you have to wait so long so I was so grateful that she was like I can send you that I have it in my collection it was so cute in the last nail it with me or the one before that um, somebody had asked, like, what I do for the holidays, and what do you guys do for the holidays? Are, you, are there any, like, super traditions that you do, or anything that, like, your family always does, like, a white elephant? Is there anything like that that you guys do? I feel like we don't really do a lot because my family's not that big, so typically we'll just, like, get the kids presents, and then the adults will just, like, exchange babysitting or something. But I'm still considered a kid because I don't have my own kids. I also really like these colors because it's super easy to not clean them up. Because it's kind of hard to tell like where the glitters are. So, a uh, little tip, if you're in a hurry, use a lighter like champagne color glitter. Or gold. And... Um, you won't really be able to tell where the nail is and the glitter is. And then you won't have to clean them up. I mean, I mean, look at all of that. Just, ooh, this is inside like natural lighting. Not even in the sun, you can just see all the gorgeousness. Sometimes these glitters can, um, like require two coats of top coat just depending on how textured they are. I can't remember if this is one that requires two or not. Um, I'll put in the description box if I ended up putting a second coat of top coat on this because sometimes the little glitters just eat it up and then you can still kind of feel the texture and I really don't like I like a textured polish, but I really don't like when non-textured polishes are supposed to be like glossy and shiny and they still have a little bit of texture. I updated you guys in my last Nail It With Me kind of like about what's going on for Cork in the next couple weeks and asked you a couple questions and if you guys wanted to see some vlogs and all that. So let me know how you guys feel about all of that. And then also, I'm really close to my 2,000 followers, like I've said on Instagram, so if you're not following me over there, go check it out, see if that's something you want to follow, and then follow me. Um, I post like swatches, and then I post the polls for the Nail It With Me's that you're watching right now, and I also do like stories more about my life and things that are going on day to day.